So what would you do if you bought a gaming PC and it showed up not as described? Well, of course you would return the gaming PC only if you're weak and you don't have YouTube money to burn. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a PC that we bought off of eBay that, well, was not as it described and was kind of a mess all around, upgrade it, make it better, and show you guys what it could have been if it actually had some better components. But before we dive into today's video, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. High quality RAM is essential to ensuring you get maximum performance out of your gaming PC. That's why we love using Lexar Aries RGB DDR5 desktop memory. Lexar's Ares RAM is specifically designed for gaming and it shows. This next-gen DDR5 memory delivers peak performance of speeds up to 6,000 megahertz. It also features an aluminum heatsink to keep those temps under control during those heavy gaming sessions. Lexar's Ares RGB DDR5 also has built-in power management to enhance efficiency and is designed with on-die ECC to improve stability and reliability. If you're a hardcore gamer or PC enthusiast looking to experience superior performance, check out Lexar Aries RGB DDR5 desktop memory through the links in the description down below. And big thanks to Lexar for sponsoring today's video. All right, so it looks like we're back with this old boy. Yeah, we're back with our little eBay PC. This PC was supposed to be a 10 core 23rd Xeon, which was correct. It actually does have that. The biggest drawback is we paid for a system that was supposed to have a GTX 1650, and instead we got a Quadro K620, which to give you an idea, 1650 is a very respectable card worth about 150 to 180 bucks. This card is worth about 10 to $20 on a good day, and it is not even a quarter of the performance of a 1650, so that's our main gripe. And by the way, when we bought this PC, the seller did message us. They said there was a listing error. They did not not give us any sort of partial refund or anything. They just basically sent the PC as is. And obviously most people might have canceled the order, but they did kind of wait a little bit till after. So it was one of those things where we don't exactly agree with how they sold us the PC, but it's here. It did work. We did test it. It did not do great. So we want to make this thing better. And what better way to do that than using a RX 580, 90, 70, 2048 stream processor. A graphics card that isn't exactly what it says it is. A 590 that's actually a 580, 2048 stream processor. Everything else with the PC, we're kind of okay with. I mean, the Apivia power supply is a little suspect, not something I would normally build with. But other than that, it's really just the K620. Yeah, I mean, it's just the fact that, like, we didn't get a partial refund. Like, they just didn't even try it felt like and um you know we did talk to the sellers interesting enough we're not really going to go into any details but long story short we don't agree i mean they they feel like you know they were in the right we feel like we we're in the right so kind of is what it is but we do want to actually make this pc good because that xeon could definitely handle a better gpu they're over here saying the xeon's basically like a i think it was like a 7 gen extreme i7 so we're gonna actually try to put that to the test by putting in a proper gpu that makes sense with it oh it's installed wow all right, out with the old, in with the new. All right, so we'll go ahead and get our, our little old baby GPU. card. Just just size comparison here. We're already <laughs> upping in the girth department. Oh yeah, we're very much upping the girth department. <laughs> right. Well, we built in the Prodigy like a thousand times, so at least we know that you know it fits. I'm using the screwdriver in the weirdest way possible. Come on, baby. Come on. It fills out the case better too. It just it just looks better. Which I will say, the last thing I'll address to these people is the fact that their pictures still are not the cards that they're selling for like 90% yeah. of their listings. I just, at the end of the day, you're making those PCs and selling them. Like, why not just take a picture of one? Yeah, and I mean, they do put in the description at the very bottom in very small text that it is not the PC pictured necessarily. Um, but it doesn't exactly say like why they did that. And like Matt said, like it's not hard to take a picture of the real thing. And the other thing too, that, you know, we weren't really big fans of was just the fact that they really went out of their way with the titling. And I, you know, once again, the, we got in a little bit of an argument, but they're like, well, you guys like say your PCs can do blah, blah. Like, and I'm like, no, we put in the title. If our PC has an i3-10105F and integrated graphics, that's what it says. And when we do our benchmarks, we actually benchmark the actual game. Well, a lot of these eBay sellers, not just this one in particular, they go out of their way to actually put like pictures of like Warzone and Fortnite and all these other games looking all epic when they have like integrated graphics and that's it. And I'm like, guys, like that's not the best advertising for that. It's just something that we disagree with. They put 64 gigs of RAM in the title because let's be honest, a lot of people do read that and they're like, oh, that must be absolutely amazing. That's so much RAM, but little do they know it's like, basically uh just is this ddr3 it's ddr3 64 yeah, cheap, gigs yeah. cheap ddr3 that like i mean people borderline throw away at this point but yeah it's just i know. would argue your cpu would be more of the bottleneck before you run out of 64 gigs of ram unless you're just using it for chrome purposes it <laughs> just still is what it is it's so still gonna... it's just fine 
I'm just gonna put it back together because we're here to actually benchmark this thing. So now we should be able to turn it on and it works. Now we have actually tested this uh, Quotation 590. So we do know that the 590 should work. Um, we're gonna go ahead and bring it over to our test bench and we're gonna see if this thing actually performs well now. All right guys, we're playing Apex Legends and I'm gonna switch things up. So we're playing some team deathmatch. Show you guys the settings right quick, 1920 by 1080. And we're on some medium-ish settings. And look at the <laughs> FPS that we're getting, guys. Substantially better, even with a graphics card that is kind of like a 590, 580 type really a 570, deal. really. Yes, pretty much. So, um, yeah, this graphics card's kind of weird, but even then, with this graphics card that you can get for like $89, slapping it in with the CPU that's in here, you're getting more than double the performance. Last time, I think Macau saw a flash on screen that we were getting like 60 FPS on 720p lower settings. So I will give the company a slight amount of credit. Um, they have removed the model with the K620, but they went with a different Quadro. Um, I have no idea how much better this Quadro is, um, but they have done some changes at least there. Yep, some change. I don't know what was happening to me there. I think damage really matters that much. Oh, Thank God, dude, shotgun like, across please. the map. Yeah. Yes. Yup. <laughs> Cleaning Got up. Him. I dare you take that zip. Oh, he's really, really bold. I don't know, that was pretty bold. He really will be like massive, really, like a hot match. Yay. <laughs> I don't even think they knew. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so gross with double tap. Just a fast one inside. Oh. Oh goodness. You can't hit me, bro. You can't hit Oh, I can't hit him either. Die. He's missing everything. Die. Oh. oh my mouse is off the punch! Oh. Ah. That was 40 <laughs> shots I just missed. Hey, oh, we champion, just like this PC is with the proper graphics card now. Yeah. So, so much better. Yeah, that 2680 is actually a bit better than I thought it was. It definitely handles a mid-range GPU just fine. We'll go super high-end with it, but this 590 makes uh, a decent amount of sense with this. Let's move on to the next game. All right, guys, we are in Fortnite, and uh, before we were running on 25% 3D resolution, but these are the settings we're currently running. Uh, we, we kept it on performance mode. Realistically, with this graphics card now, we could leave performance mode and actually run just normal DX11 or 12, but for the sake of just comparison purposes, we left it on performance settings. And this way, the CPU actually has to do a little bit of work as well. Um, we wanna see if that Xeon is capable of playing these games and has enough clock speed for it. I mean, it is a bit on the lower side. It looks like it's only getting up to like three gigahertz. Um, so that could hold us back at some of these esports titles, but so far, playable. We'll land here. Um, last time, it was not very playable at all. We had to go to 25% render scale, and even then, it was still having some lag issues. So we'll go ahead and land here and see what we have going on. I think anyone landed with me, so I got a, I got a skedaddle doodle. Wee! Yoo-hoo! Yahoo! Yeah, this, uh, the snow definitely looked different on <laughs> performance settings. I've been used to playing on non-performance settings. and uh, The trees didn't even look like trees. They didn't even look like trees for show. This ain't a good snow vehicle. Hello, is anybody here? You know in Fortnite there was like no footage I could use? <laughs> because you guys like said all this stuff about me? <laughs> oh yeah, this is the footage you needed. Oh god! Oh no, Matt. Oh no, How'd Matt. they shield up? We gotta go again. What's wrong with this? <laughs> talking about my scope. <laughs> they gotta put me back in the bot lobbies after that one. That's Are they a lot. walking sideways? <laughs> Ouch, that, deadly sparkles. That, that was pretty bot-like. Hello. Oh, oh. He's running, that might be a real person. Hello? Oh, there's two people! Oh, oh. God. Ah! No! <laughs> Fortnite! Oh god, duel. Third party, third party, third party. Wait, hold up. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. You know what? <laughs> he got some kills. Callister, you got very little from that and you're gonna be so excited. But yeah, guys, that's Fortnite. Um, we did three runs and it didn't work out very well. <laughs> it's given us the runs. But you know what? Upgrading this PC with that 590, 80, whatever the hell it is, performs pretty well. Uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, run a couple more built-in benchmarks, really push this thing to its limits. Other games we tested with the K620 and just show you guys, why did they put me in this lobby with this guy? That, that guy was sweaty. That guy was pretty sweaty. And uh, yeah, I'll just wrap this video up real quick and just talk about uh, this PC as a whole and kind of move on from it. 
All right guys, you all asked for it and we have pretty much fixed this PC. And like we said, there really wasn't much wrong with it from the start. The main thing was just that graphics card pairing with that CPU made absolutely no sense. And I mean, sure, if you bought this thing thinking I'm gonna be using this for office work because it does have an SSD and a pretty good CPU or like really, really light gaming. I'm talking like Minecraft at lowest settings and Roblox, then sure, it's great. But if you're buying with the intentions of like Fortnite, Valorant, CSGO, and maybe even even trying to get into some AAA titles, you definitely need at least something like a 1650 that was supposed to come with it, or in this case, an RX 570. Yeah, so overall, this PC is working pretty well now, and I think the configuration works out pretty well. Um, so if you do end up buying one of these combos from AliExpress, if you wanna find a graphics card to go with it, either one of the 580, 2040 stream processors or one of these weird cards will work really well. But uh, yeah, if you wanna buy the upgrade from today's video, check the link in the description down below. There will be affiliate links that will help us out. We'll leave you some links to some graphics cards we do recommend you buy. This one is kind of weird we don't necessarily recommend it because of the whole flashing that's going on with it to make it seem like it's not what it actually is but uh yeah leave some recommendations down below and let us know what you think of this pc upgrade and what do you think of the pc after the upgrade if the performance is worth it so as always we hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did check out our other two youtube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros and do not forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one Bye bye now this PC is upgraded, we will be selling it at PCBros.Tech for a pretty good price. And yeah, it's been fully tested now. It'll come with a one year warranty, which we will provide. So that part's very nice too. PCBros.Tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and merch. We sell merch, PC Bros and Toasty Bros merch that you see around the film set when we're filming videos. Use code Toasty Bros 2 on checkout to save 2% of your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.